Well, maybe if we try... Uh... Hello, Manny. Huh? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> uh, my apologies, Your Highness. I was quite occupied with the arrangements for Mr. Shia Day. It's all right, Manny. How are the preparations coming along? It's going great, Your Highness. The decorations are up, the feast is ready, and the balloons for the balloon festival have been ordered. Oh, that's great! I hope you've ordered enough balloons. Oh, I have, Your Highness. It is going to be really special this time. There's going to be a lot of balloons in a lot of colors. Um, uh, one moment, Your Highness. Uh, let me tell you how many balloons I've ordered. Here it is. 512 yellow balloons, 491 white balloons, 275 blue balloons, 161 red balloons, and 240 green balloons. There are a lot of balloons, all right, but the count seems to be a bit, um, balanced. How is it unbalanced, Your Highness? See, there are more yellow balloons than any other color. And if you compare the rest, the number of white balloons overshadows the blue, red, and green balloons, all of which are equally important. <sighs> Manny, the Balloon Festival is about representing the balance and harmony of Mysticia. I agree, Your Highness. There should be a balance in the number of colored balloons. Yes, please. There should be more blue, red, and green balloons. Get 100 more for each of them. And there are too many yellow and white balloons. Let's reduce their counts by 102. At once, Your Highness. I'll go get the right number of balloons, and I will inform you when they are ready. Hmm. 285, 286. Hi, Manny. Oh, hi, Joan. Uh, oh, oh, no, I've lost count. It's all right, Manny. You can do it again. Do it again? I am supposed to add 100 red balloons, 100 green balloons, and 100 blue balloons, and uh, I've got to subtract 100 yellow balloons and 100 white balloons, Joan. Hmm. <sighs> Anyways, I'm, I'm supposed to do all this, then go change the order and get it ready for the balloon festival as soon as possible. But why are you adding and subtracting 100 balloons, Manny? I am buying balloons for Mr. Shia Day. Princess Madeline has me to buy 100 more of some of the colors and reduce the counts of the other colors by 100. That's why I am counting. Hmm. <laughs> oh, now I have to start all over. Manny, what if I told you that there is a way to add 100 to a number without counting each number individually. So, we want to add 100 to 161. 161 has 100, 6 tens, and 1 ones. Now, we have to add 100 to it. The number 100 has 100, 0 tens, and 0 ones. In 100, the numbers in the tens and ones place have no value on their own because they are zero. So, when you add a number to 100, the digits in the tens and ones place will be the same as the digits in the number that is being added to 100. And the number in the hundreds place increases by one. So, if we add 100 to 161, we get 261. Wow! So if we are adding 100 to any number, only the digit in the hundreds place will increase by one, and the rest of the digits remain the same? Exactly! When you're adding 100 to any number, just increase the digit in the hundreds place by one. Oh, that is great! Now, I will try adding 100 balloons to 275 balloons. 275 has two hundreds, seven tenths, and five ones. The seven and the five remain the same. And the two hundreds increase by one and becomes three hundreds. So, 100 added to 200 
And 75 is 375. <laughs> and now I'll add 100 balloons to 240 balloons. 240 has two hundreds, four tens, and zero ones. The four and the zero remain the same, and the two hundreds increase by one and become three hundreds. So, 100 added to 240 is 340. Adding this way beats counting with fingers any day. But I am also supposed to subtract 100 balloons from 512 yellow balloons and 491 white balloons. <laughs> Wait! Oh! Oh, oh, I can use the same method to subtract two, right? I want to subtract 100 from 491. 491 has four hundreds, nine tens, and one ones. <laughs> now, I have to subtract 100 from it. Hundreds has one hundred, zero tens, and zero ones. In one hundred, the numbers in the tens and ones place have no value on their own because they are zero. So the digits in the tens place and ones place will be the same as the digits in the number that hundred is being subtracted from. And in the hundreds place, I subtract one from four and I get three. <laughs> so if we subtract one hundred from four hundred and ninety-one, I get three hundred and nine. Exactly! So, when we are subtracting 100 from a number, only the digit in the hundreds place of the number will decrease by 1, and the rest of the digits will remain the same. All right, 512 has 500s, 110s, and two ones. The 1 and the 2 remain the same, and the 5 in the hundreds place decreases by 1. So, 100 subtracted from 512 is 412. Oh, thank you so much for helping me out, Joan. Go, I've got to go get the right number of balloons. Hello, your highness. Manny, there you are. I was beginning to get worried. What took you so long? But where are the balloons? It is almost time for the balloon festival, Manny. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they are so beautiful. It looks like there is an equal number of blue, green, yellow, red, and white balloons. Ah, <sighs> it looks so perfect. 